Okay, hi, good evening. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Virgo. So I'll just quickly introduce myself on my new channel. My name's Kelsa and this is the channel for, well, this is my channel, Empress of Energy. Um, I'm not necessarily a newly found tarot reader, but I am brand new to YouTube. I did normally, I did just work on social media, only because I could do live videos straight away. So that's my preference. But I have to get up to about, I have to get up to at least 50 subscribers, I think, to be able to do that. So these are pre-recorded videos. And crazily, the reason why I hate doing this is because I just got 17 minutes into a reading for you, Virgo. And then I was still rambling on with my little self and I didn't realise that it stopped recording. So now I'm going to start again. It'll be very interesting to see what kind of story comes out this time around. I'm not going to say what, what did come out. Um, so we'll just start fresh. So I have meditated on your energy, pre-shuffle your cards. This will be a reading for anyone with Virgo in the birth chart from Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and also Cross Watchers welcome. So let's get a message that Virgo needs to hear for the highest good please spirit. So this is a beautiful oracle deck called Pulse Cards from Spirit. Quite lengthy messages but you know really 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 nice, very angelic. So there'll be a message here that you need to hear for your highest good Virgo. So place it in your life where it resonates. It will be possible to connect with every single Virgo in the world. So take what messages are yours, if any, and leave the rest behind. For, you know, details on a personal reading, the description box. And yes, I think that's all I need to say. So let's jump in. Message for Virgo, please. Wow. Okay, they've given us two. Okay. It's not the same card that came out first time. So these are quite long, Virgo. So your first message is, dearest you, everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order. And we are always in awe of this. For you, though, on your human journey, things can get disorganised in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter, whether it be too many stories in your mind, too many what-ifs, or fearful thoughts of the past or the future. Instead, focus on the now. Empty your mind, clean your house and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Discern what you have. Sort, purge, clear and organise. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Spirit loves a, loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go, of what, let go of what is no longer serving you and give order to what remains. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organisation in order to keep your connection to us and spirit free of distractions. You are ad so adored by so many. We really hope you know that. Well, that was a lovely message. Seemed quite specific as well. So I also wanted you to wear that Virgo. Your next message is, dear you, now is one of those, time, now is one of those times that you're being asked to, to have some distance. Take a step back and do nothing but observe. Don't worry about how long it will take to regroup. Just know it's temporary and actually an opportunity to take a breath. Slow down and look at how far you've come. Decisions for the highest good are made when you have clarity, which comes from being open to information from both the intellect and the intuition. When you step into the role of observer, it's as if your turn is it it's as if you turn on a switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision making process. In this way you can approach things from a more neutral and non judgment non judgment place. We know you'll make the right choice. Trust us when when we say now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back now. You'll be glad that you did. Love you. Oh, we do seem like very specific messages there, Virgo. No, nope, don't want the tarot yet. We're going to go into the Kipper deck. Um, yeah, I hope someone needed to hear them. So now is not the time. So, you know, maybe you're going to get triggered soon with something. I did see a lot of, you know, when you pre-shuffle and... I'm not going to talk about the other video that I did. Because um, this might be a completely different story that comes out. But I did see in the pre-shuffle after that. Whilst I was meditating again, there was a lot of stress, worry, angst over something. Let's get messages for Virgo, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, yeah, there could be some chaos going on, but it's divine timing. You know, time and moments come for a reason. Messages for Virgo, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Any more? Yep. 
Wow. Okay, we've got card number 24, the Thievera. Interesting. These are the same cards that come out in your pre shuffle. Sorry, in your other video, video either. So we've got card number 23, the court. So there could be some kind of legal situation going on. And then we've got card number 26, big luck. I love that. I love that. We've got card 23, 24 and 26. That's a five, six and an eight. So I feel like someone could be trying to rob you of something. If you know someone could be going through a legal situation, someone could be trying to rob you of something. It's not going to happen. Spirit's not going to allow it. Luck is on your side. Any kind of legal situation for that matter that is going on, where there's an energy of being robbed of something or feeling robbed of something. If not, you know, it doesn't have to be something physical. You know, someone doesn't have to have literally stolen something from you. It could just be the sense of feeling robbed of something. Luck is on your side. Spirit has got your back. Is what I'm feeling, most definitely. This could be definitely something that you're very stressed about. Well, there it is, the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I do have someone, you know, very stressed. If this isn't you, this is someone that you're connected to, because the energy that I will be reading is either yours or someone that you're connected to energetically. So, you know, so flip the roles as you see fit. Um, but yeah, let's go, let's have a look. Let's just with Virgo, please, spirits, on moon, rising and Venus. Hmm, but if you are stressing, you are literally being told here, luck is, luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. With big luck. Let's just with Virgo, please, spirits, on moon, rising and Venus. Oh. Okay, so time is fluid in tarot. So this is just a current energy check. So we could still be carrying past energies and we could still be seeing, you know, energies that we've not seen as of yet, you know, based on your current manifestations, we could be seeing parts of the future energy. However, something, if something hasn't crazily, unexpectedly, shockingly happened, um, that could have been some, it's to do with some kind of ending or some kind of transformation it's about to. This could be what the thievery is. I feel like something shocking is happening or it's happened or it's about to happen. Let's see. What messages have we got for Virgo, please? Somebody rising on Venus. Oh, okay. The Knight of Cups. Are we dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces? Just tell me more, please. Virgo's energy. Okay, judgment. The wheel of fortune. Wow, there's a lot of divine guidance here. A lot of divine timing. Someone's coming in when they're supposed to. Or you're gonna get some kind of message, some kind of, some kind of emotional news, and you're gonna get it when you're meant to. There's some kind of judgment call being made. Some, it's like it's time. It's judgment time. Could definitely be a legal situation going on. And everything is everything's happening for a reason. The wheel of fortune has been turned in your favour, most definitely, Virgo. <clears throat> but it's when it's supposed to. Whatever you could be possibly waiting for, something to come in, it'll come when it's supposed to. Let's trust in the divine. Tell me more, please, Virgo's energy. Somebody rising on Venus. Wow, the Empress. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. There goes energy, please, Spirit. Wow, you know what? Crazily, the, the other video was some... The Queen of Cups was in this exact same position that the Empress is in. And I, and I, and I felt that as some kind of maternal energy on that, on that reading. So I'm getting the same thing. This could be something to do with some kind of mother figure. For somebody you could be that mother figure virgo you, this could be someone that you're dealing with take it as it resonates wow one more please wow the ace of cups wow one more please 
Oh my goodness me. Wow, the world. Right, so you're also divinely protected. Wow, a lot of divine. So, there's a lot of angelic cards here. A lot. So you are looking absolutely fine, Virgo. Or again, if this isn't you, take it, you know, this could be someone that you're viewing as absolutely everything. This could be the parent of your child. This is somebody that's possibly waiting for something to be delivered, something to come in. Some kind of good news, some kind of emotional news or message or something like that. Something destructive could have happened, but there's new love coming with the Ace of Cups. And it's a new cycle with the world card. Fixed energy within the reading as well, a lot. You know, this is, there's such divine guidance here. This is fate, this is destiny, this is meant to be. This could be something brand new, don't get me wrong, you know, but we've got reconciliation, judgment, it's judgment time. It's time to make a judgment call. This could be something or somebody that you don't trust very much. Oh, the thiever and the thiever. There's the thief. Maybe there's an energy of not trusting them. Let's see, let's find out. What's this Knight of Cups, please? Oh, okay, that might be why. You may already know this person. This is most definitely some kind of possible um, reconciliation. Okay, the King of Wands, the Three of Swords. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. But I feel like somebody could have caused some pain here by being a kind of an in and out kind of energy. A, you know, a bit of a flit, fleeting kind of energy. Passionately, fiery. Does what he wants when he wants, kind of energy. This could have caused some pain. Could have been some lying that was going on. Not taking all them. Give me one more for this Knight of Cups, please. But this is who's delivering something. The Knights are deliverers of things, you know, they deliver messages usually. And this is delivering a message of emotion, some kind of emotional message. One more, please, for this Knight of Cups. No, stop throwing them on. <laughs> One at a time, please. One at a time, please. Uh, one more for this Knight of Cups. Well, There's a lot of divine guidance here. I can't, keep, I can't keep saying that. Or I can't say that enough. This is most definitely all going in your favour as well. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour. The World Card is in your favour. You know, we've got big luck over here. Let's not forget that. You have earned this, Virgo. Give me one more, please. This Knight of Cups. Come on. Yeah, so I don't just deal from the deck. I do wait for your energy to bring a card out, so. We stay patient. One more for this Knight of Cups, please. And Virgo's energy spirit. One more. This could be someone that you've had to do some healing from. Most definitely. Most definitely. This could be who is that was stressed. When I was saying at the beginning. If this isn't you... You know, but this could be you that's been in this energy, this King of Wands energy, this passionate player kind of energy. Why aren't you letting me have any more cards, Spirit? Hmm. Thank you. Oh, wow. Perfect card to come out, the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, strong Leo energy. But somebody can't let go of how happy you make them, Virgo. They just really, really can't. They need to bring clarity to this situation. You know, this, they have to in order to have this happiness that they may once have had because that's what it's, it could be possibly being raised from the dead. This could have, had, you know, completely, this, this chapter could have closed. This cycle could have already come to an end and that's why it's feeling absolutely brand new with the Ace of Cups. Wow, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The tower again, we can't keep, we can't, we can't keep hiding from this tower. This was in the last reading as well in your other video. Something unexpected, even up here, you've been warned by the postcard from Spirit. Everything, but it's divine order. The tower moment doesn't happen unless something was built, you know, on a, on a not sturdy foundation. 
things kind of come crumbling down that was built on a solid foundation to begin with. So a tower moment comes because it's meant to, it, it destroys something, it can, you know, bring something come, come crum crumbling down. I can get my words out. But something can come crumbling down and it's just so something more beautiful can be rebuilt in its place. And that's why we've got these blessings. This might come as a complete shock to you though. What's this judgment? Wow. What did I just say then? We've got these blessings. Someone is making a judgment call, to be honest. Ace of Swords. Someone is literally making a judgment call to come. Like they're thinking, right, okay, I've got to do this. I've got to do it. Now or never, kind of thing. So this could very well be a missed opportunity if they don't this like an opportunity that they just can't miss to bring in this ace of sword this ace of truth this this sword of truth this clarity to a situation wow them three them three cards literally come out together before the nine of wands that someone does not want to give up on what this is they can't I don't know why I keep saying that they can't, but they just can't. They can't give up on whatever whatever they had with you, how happy you made them, how loving you was, how, you know, the Empress is the Queen of Queens, but there's no gender in tarot, so we can all sit in our divine masculine and feminine energies. So this is just someone who was, you know, she was somebody that was so maternal, they were so giving, caring, kind, the head of the household, she was good with money, she had a good job. She was honest. She wasn't scared of speaking the truth. She knew how to she knew how to look after herself. She was so abundant. You know, this is how someone's viewing you, or this is how you're viewing someone. Take as it resonates, but it's absolutely beautiful energy. But then we have still got the thievery. So this, again, this could be just somebody that you distrust. Sorry about this wheel of fortune, please. Thank you. Okay, the two of swords. So this might put you at a little bit of a crossroads, Virgo, or somebody is, but I feel like this could be you. Yeah. You're going to have to really decide, contemplate on if you want to work with this, whatever this is, with the three of pentacles. This is working together, collaborating. the magician so we're manifesting you know you manifested your manifestations they're being heard they're being listened to your guides are listening most definitely so keep going but this is this could be that unexpected to you you know this you could be manifesting something completely unknowingly um, but it's being manifested nonetheless with a magician card could be dealing with a Scorpio um, but there's the manifestation here, the one and the desire to possibly come together and work on something, collaborate on something with somebody. And this is going to put you in two of swords energy. It's like crossroads because you've possibly not seen or heard from this thing or person for maybe quite some time. Doesn't have to be that. That could just be for one person. But this is already possibly someone that you've already blocked off. You've already chosen to just, you know, stop feeling this, stop, stop seeing this. But the wheel of fortune's turning and it's being manifested. Somebody's manifesting it. Wow, ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. It's emotional fulfillment. This definitely could have been with someone that's been left out in the cold. You could have left this person out in the cold, Virgo, for whatever this untrustworthy energy was. What's this Empress energy, please? Wow, six of cups. This could definitely be an ex. This is someone from your past. Past memories. Past, past loving memories. Tell me more, please. I mean, you know, we are still... Have we just come out? What date are we on? Um, Mercury retrograde. So we're either, just, we're either still in it or we've literally just come out of it. And even the coming out of it is just as bad as being in it. So it can drag up all sorts of things from the past. So, but this could, def this could definitely be someone's, you know, parent of a child. 
most definitely. Kind of more spirit, please, for this Empress energy. But it's the one who views you very highly. Yeah, wow, page of wands. You could have, this could be the ex or the person from the past could be a younger fire sign or just someone younger. There could be an age difference involved. Um, but this, if not, this most definitely could be someone that you've got children with. Most definitely. We've got the Empress in a page. So that's, you know, a parent and child. Doesn't have to be again. That could be for another Virgo specifically. But this is also so that someone could have acted a little bit immature in the past. You know, he was on a little bit two different wavelengths in some degree. They want to move to the, they want to move into Karma Waters. They want this Ace of Cups. Wow. What a reading, Virgo. Can we one more, please? The Semper Senator. Can we one more, please? You might literally just be far too busy working to even anticipate this coming. Two of Wands, yeah, it's you're gonna you're gonna have a you're gonna have a path to choose. Is what I'm feeling. If not, this is already someone that chose the wrong path. Whilst being a little bit immature, maybe. But again, you know, it's only a general reading, but I very strongly feel like for the majority of you, you're gonna be at a it's decision time for you. Someone's gonna come in and, and put you at a crossroads. Oh, sorry, I just sneezed. <laughs> but someone wants the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. You could have one or two children with this person. What's this Ace of Cups, this new love? This could be someone brand new though, but I really, you know, I don't feel like it is, I'm not going to lie. I won't lie to you, Virgo, I don't feel like it is someone new. I feel like it is someone from your past. And it's someone that finds you very, very, very attractive with the Queen of Wands energy. Or someone that you find very attractive, take it to resonates. You know, she's passionate, she's fiery, she's sexy, she's desirable. Oh. Okay. Oh, right, okay. For some specifically, the Queen of Wands can also be known as the other woman in my tarot deck. I like to call her sometimes. Because again, she's that desirable and that sexy that some fail to say no to that kind of energy. And then we've got the Ten of Swords, that is betrayal. Ten of Swords is Ten of Swords in the back, energy, betrayal, painful endings. So someone could literally be gathering up the strength and the courage here to come and be honest about who this, who and what this was or is. Doesn't have to be, but could be dealing with a Leo. But yeah, the, somebody, there has been betrayal. There has been a betrayal within this situation, but somebody still wants new love. Someone could literally be, yeah, that's, that's literally what I'm getting. So this is either you, Virgo, having to be honest and in order to have this new cycle, this new start, which is definitely what somebody wants. In order to have that, you have to come in. They may come in actually with, this could be you though. I mean, I don't know, Take it. I'm getting a bit of both to be honest. I am getting a little bit of both. But in order to reconcile, there has to be some truth, but somebody is building up the courage to be able to deliver that. Hmm. But yeah, there's been, whoever this is, there's, there's been a painful ending with that person. And this is either caused by you or caused by them. But somebody's, whoever has caused it, is gathering the strength and the courage to want to fix it. What's this world card, please? And Virgo's energy. This is a new cycle, you know. Could be a karmic cycle. Well, this is a new, this is a new cycle. Cycle starting again. Or oh, someone wanting that? What's this world card, please? Thank you. One more. Mm. 
We are sailing into Camelot. There's, we've got the Six of Swords, Energy. All the Fool. We're dealing with an Aries. Yeah, you really, you really, 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 really don't see this coming. I don't feel. So God knows how much of an ex this ex could be for it to shock you that much. But someone's taking a massive risk. Massive risk. They just can't take it anymore, though. They have to do it. I'm sure I've already said that. Someone just can't take it anymore. They have to do it. They have to do this. They have to drop these burdens and they have to come rushing right in because it's just too much for them to bear. It literally is. They need, I feel like it's like an energy of needing you to a degree. They want to be with you. They really, really do. Or they want a re reunion anyway, some kind of reconciliation, some kind of coming together. Most definitely. They see, they, they know you're worth is what I'm feeling, most definitely, so that's what I've got for you Virgo, that's your reading, so please like, comment, share on the video, but most definitely subscribe to the channel, because it's brand new, and you'll be doing, you'd be doing me a massive favour, because then I can just do live videos instead of having to pre-record and upload, and so it's just a pain, so yes, thank you so much for watching, thank you.